Hi, Larry here. Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. Today we're going to do a review on a pen that I've been very curious about. Uh, the name of the pen is the Pelican. Uh, not the high-end pen, but the low-end pen. I've always wondered how just a regular steel nib Pelican would, would write. Uh, so I'm going to review the Pelican P55 Blue future uh, and I'm just going to compare it with the Lombi Safari not going to do a writing sample with the Lombi Safari I've already done that just kind of compare pens talk about what uh, they resemble how they resemble to each other uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory when you see the picture of the pens so, first of all, let's focus on the Pelican P55. It's a rich, dark, deep blue color. And it uses uh, the Lamy cartridge. Short or long. Right now, I have a short one in here. Uh, I have the, I'm using the Diamine Silverine Maroon ink in it. Um, and it has an ink window on both sides. And on the barrel, right beneath the cap, it does have Pelican. You probably can't see that, but it's right there. So at the bottom where it tapers off at the barrel, it's rounded and it does have Germany. Now let's bring in the Lamy Safari. I didn't have a blue one, but I have the black one. The Lamy has Lamy here on the side of the pin. And it's not rounded. It's more of a squarish on the end. But it does have Germany on the bottom of the pin. Now, if you look at both pins together, the ink window on the Lamy, it's probably a bit more pronounced than the one in the Pelican, but still, the one in the Pelican, you can see just fine, and I have the short cartridge in there, so that'll let you know you're getting close to be out of ink or what your level of ink is. But uh, I would say the Lamy Safari has a uh, just a tad bigger window uh, because of the way it's shaped. Now there's nothing under the cap with the name like the Pelican has there. Now let's look at the clips on the top of the cap. This is the interesting part. The Lamy Safari has a nice, sturdy clip. So it's going to protect your pen. It's going to keep it in place for sure. And it's not going to go anywhere, not going to break, you know, just unless you just really just rip it apart. On the other hand, the Pelican, it has a plastic clip. Now, too much uh, playing with this clip I wouldn't recommend because it is flimsy and it can break. It does have like rubber right down here in the middle of the clip coming down and on both sides of the clip and underneath it and in the back of the clip it does have rubber at the end so it can grip your shirt uh, so it'll stay in your pocket better. So let's just put it here. So it, you know, it does slide around, but you know, it's not going to slide around when you're walking or anything. And you know, it, it's going to secure it in your pocket. But remember, you want to be careful with it because to me, it's flimsy, it's plastic, and it could break. So that's something to watch out for. 
at the top of the pelican, the finial, what's cool is it has the pelican logo. Got the, the pelican there with the baby. And on the Lamy Safari, it has that standard cross section on the logo. And you can see on the Safari where the clip is built in right here close to the finial on top that kind of a round, I would say like a little opening. That's where your clip is. And there's nothing on the pelican. Um, they're both pull off caps. Now with the pin closed, you're looking at 5.38 inches. Post it, and it does post securely, 6.06 inches. And the weight of the pin is 12.8 grams. And that's with the cartridges in it. So let's go back down the barrel again. Like I said, the uh, at the end of the barrel, it's rounded. And I, I kind of like that. It's different than the Safari, but they're they're both have their own personalities. I'm not saying one is better than the other. That's for you to decide. But uh, they both have their uh, yays and nays, I would say. The plastic clip kind of bothers me because you know if you're not real careful with it, it could break. Where I wouldn't be as careful with th this metal clip because it's pretty sturdy. Let's go ahead and post both pins. The, the grip has, from the barrel to the grip, has a transition that from, uh, it doesn't have no step-offs and it goes right into the grip section that has three rubber inserts. One, two, and three. Two big ones and one little one. The, uh, the bigger ones are for your index finger and a the other one that has the place for your thumb to go. So your index and your thumb, and then you can put your uh, middle finger on the one below. So I, I really like that. That feels really nice and comfortable. Where the Lamy, they have the grip section, one on each side, and you hold it one certain way. Of course, I have my fingers the same way I would have it on the Pelican. So, to me, I see no problems on either pin. They both operate just fine for me. Uh, this pin sells for $12.95 on eBay. Now, let's look at the nibs. Remember, here is the Pelican 55 steel nib. And on my right is the Lombi Safari. The nib, I'm looking, excuse me, has a Lombi, M for medium, and the Pelican just has M for medium. But what's cool about the Pelican, as you can see, the nib is held in place with the grip right here, right between there, like boom. Uh, so, it's, you know, some people are afraid that the nib might come off when you're cleaning it uh, if you're not careful, which, you know, it never has happened with my Lombie Safaris or All-Stars. Where the Lombie Safari doesn't have that like the Pelican. It just goes right in to the base of the 
bottom of the pen right there in the grip, as you see. You see, this is a fiery, how it's held in. And there's your feed. And this is the feed for the pelican. Now, the pelican feed, it looks like it's just plastic to me. Now, the description of this pelican, the material, meaning the body, the whole pen, it's resin. Well, this doesn't feel or look like resin, just plastic. So this is what you'll get. This is a plastic pen with rubber here on the top, again, with a cap around the clip and the rubber that's inserted down the middle halfway on the clip and then your grip has three rubber spots for your fingers and the nib is inserted in place and it holds there right there with the feed there's your feed and it's right there where the grip is comes down in the grip in the feed and the feed together inserts right here in this holder part as you can see see those two little ends that securely locks in your nib so I believe the Safari runs for what 29 bucks and they do write nice and the Pelican for $12.95 and it writes nice and it's just a bit longer the Lamy Safari is a tad longer than the pelican. So let's go ahead and cap both of them and see what we get here. So they're both posted. And still the Lamy is longer than the pelican. So I'm going to bring some paper out that I used the other day, some Tomo River paper, and uh, do some writing. I didn't use the Lamy Blue cartridge. Why? Well, I wanted to try the Diamond Silverine Maroon, see what that was like because it's been sitting uh, in the samples. For a while, so I said, you know what, time to, to use some of that ink up. So let's get started with it. Let me move this over a bit. Okay. And here's the witness. It does lay down the ink. A nice rod of the nib is a nice smooth nib. And it does write very nicely. No pressure, but some pressure. And you get a 
tad bit of line variation upside down. And not nothing. And we'll do some writing. Trying to get situated here and I just can't find a comfortable spot. I'll try this again. But the pen writes with no problems. As you see the the nibs, they're not identical. They do have a different shape to it. They look similar, but if you look closely, the pelican, how it slings out on the wings, then back down. It stands out more, it swings out a bit further. And then the lomby, it just kind of goes right into the pin. It's more slimmer, but this is a bit wider. That makes any sense. And there's your breather hole there for the lami. And then the breather hole would be right down here on the pelican right there. So that's the lowdown for the Pelican P55. And they also come in red. You know, for $12.95, not a bad pen. Just take into consideration, be careful with the clip. It is flimsy in my opinion. But it's a decent writer. It's a good looking pen. It feels great in the hands. I, I have been writing with it for a while now. And I have not had any problems. Uh, I think I will try the long cartridge later. But, uh, you know, I'm just not a big fan of the Lamy Blue Ink. Uh, you know, I do like some of the other inks, but just not much on the blue ink. But I will give this a try and see how... Uh, the Pelican works with the Lombie Blue ink cartridge to see how that's going to fit. You may say, well, why do I want to try a Lombie cartridge into a Pelican? Why not? I'm just testing out different cartridges, see about fits, what fits, what doesn't fit, colors of inks, you know, playing around with my pens, getting to know them better. That's going to wrap this one up. I hope you found the Pelican P55 interesting. I know I did. That's why I bought it. Now I know what a Pelican steel nib feels like. At least the lower end of the Pelican nibs anyway. You know, I'm not sure if the there is a difference between this nib and, let's say, a Pelican between 150 to $200 pin 
was right. May have to bite the bullet one day and, and buy another pelican, excuse me, uh, in that price range. Well, folks, thanks for taking the time and joining me today on today's review. I hope you guys have been having a great time today. If you could spare a moment and help a brother out, how? By sharing my videos. That really helps me. And I appreciate again your input, your feedback. Leave your comments below. Be civil. And remember, don't text and drive, my friends. Take care.